Well, I feel the the first problem is the cutbacks in service. And even before there were cutbacks, there were uh, there wasn't there weren't bus enough buses. It simply wasn't frequent enough. And uh, I really feel that we have to have transit so great you don't need your car. And uh, and buses should run a minimum of every 10 minutes from uh, 6 a.m. to midnight and every half hour from midnight to 6 a.m. We have to get people out of their cars. I mean, if we want the planet to survive, right? I mean, that's it's not something that's negotiable and it's not realistic to continue on the way we are. So that would be my primary uh, goal as mayor is simply to get more buses and more bus drivers. I think that would really make a huge difference. There are so many little changes that can be made. There's the transit effectiveness project I'm sure you know about and all those proposals need to be taken forward. Hi Sue, this Hi. is uh, Sue, my campaign manager, oh, Sue Vaughn, who, who knows far more about Muni than I do. But, um, so all of those proposals, that, I, that would be, so that would be, you know, like both all door loading and timed traffic lights, those are a whole group of things that, that could be done to, right now, really, uh, with very little money, to create a lot more rapid transit, a more rapid, rapid, more rapid, rapid transit. And, uh, and I'm very much for the, uh, you know, the different bus rapid transit concepts on Geary or, you know, any other lines, I think that, um, Really, we need to have a Green New Deal for the whole city that is about creating a sustainable, a truly sustainable 21st century city. And so all those things are part of it. Um, I also believe that uh, people have a real bias against public transit, or many people do, who are hooked into their, you know, they're, they're hooked into driving the supposed efficiency and convenience of it, even though half the time they're stuck in traffic or circling the block looking for parking. But they have that mentality. And we have to change that mentality. And to do that, one of my plans is to make Muni magnificent. And I want to have every underground station be uh, a museum with, gallery, with uh, mosaics and murals. This is something that is done in other trans cities, you know, I mean, in New York City they're starting to do that, and Moscow has had a spectacular transit system, and Stockholm also has a, an underground subway system that is a tourist attraction, actually. And so we have to make Muni fun, we have to make it cool, a place that people want to be. I also think, I, this is also about, um, sort of using the energies of the incredible arts community that we have in San Francisco. So that the, the Green New Deal is, is also about bringing the arts into as many aspects of city life as possible. I, let's have sculptors, you know, transform every bus shelter so that Muni becomes a, a focus of really very, a lot of positive energy for everybody. Okay. So those are, I would say, the three things that I would do. Okay. Well, uh, this is something that I feel is an issue. I mean, obviously, if there's that much overtime, you need to be hiring more people to work at the regular time. Uh, I think this is something that I would be discussing with whoever was the head of Muni, uh, rather than directly intervening, mm -hmm. that, that we simply 
have to have more, I think it makes absolute sense at this time to employ more people and have less overtime. There's no question about that. But I, I see that as something that a mayor can't directly intervene and has to really work with the head of Muni, the people running Muni. Mm -hmm. And I would, of course, I'm interested to see how the current head does. It does concern me that he doesn't have experience in public transit. And I've lived here a long time, and we once had this fantastic man, Geise, Geisenheimer, who came here, for, he ran Chicago's public transit, and then he came here. And he actually was a tremendous uh, head of Muni, and everything ran on time, and we all had a little booklet with the schedules of everything, and when it was at which corner, and it, you went, you looked in your booklet, and you went, and there it was. So that's how reliable Muni was at that time. So it can be done with the proper head and the proper funding. Well, I feel that we have to, I, for one thing, I feel like the election of a green mayor would transform the political climate in the whole country. And I do feel that we need to uh, basically have a much higher level of, of income taxes at the federal level and at the state level in terms of a progressive income tax because the wealth of this country has not disappeared. It's simply been sucked upwards. And then meanwhile, you know, things like Muni are cut. And there is a way to transform that and it's called taxing, progressive taxes. And so I really feel as a Green I would be speaking out for that as the mayor at every level. And as you know, there is now talk from Obama, <laughs> including from Obama, about uh, changing the progress, progressive income tax, in fact, making it more progressive. If we even went back to where it was before Reagan, we would not have the financial crisis we're in now. So, so the financial crisis is manufactured by that. There is going to be something, people are working to put something on the ballot to raise the um, income tax, the state income tax, for people who make over $500,000. And I believe that we should have city income tax. This is really a time for us not to lower our expectations. The money is there, and we have to get it by, I mean, this is my button, tax the rich, rich duh. And many, many people, <laughs> I'm giving them out all the time because the duh is, is a way of saying, this is so obvious, folks. It's staring us in our face. This is what they did in the Depression. They instituted a progressive income tax, and we are afraid to do it because of this right-wing paranoia, you know, of greed. So, and, and we can have a progressive city income tax. Uh, Mark Leno is working on something that might allow us to do it at the state legislature. Basically, if everybody is withdrawing money from us, we have to demand the right to create our own economy in San Francisco through taxes. If the state is not giving us sufficient money and the, and the feds aren't, we have to, in San Francisco, create the city we want. Partially, one of the things we have to do is progressive taxes on the rich people in San Francisco.